Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Marissa and I work here at Jack Warden Sons, which is an estate jewelry company here in Beverly Hills, California. And today we're going to be talking about how to choose the perfect Art Deco engagement ring. So let's start with what exactly makes Art Deco so incredible. It encompassed sleek lines of modern industrial design, bright colors reminiscent of the Hollywood glamour, a global influence of the past and present, and complexly layered shapes and patterns. Choosing an Art Deco ring is making a commitment to a life full of passion and romance. Now let's talk about how to choose the perfect Art Deco engagement ring. First, let's take a step back and explore the movement and details of this exquisite design. When you choose a piece of jewelry from a specific era, it's also important to know the cultural context and the background. Art Deco emerged in France in the 1910s, which was shortly before World War I. And then it came alive in Europe and the US in the 1920s and the 1930s. Art Deco is characterized by its clean lines, symmetry, and geometric shapes. It often features gemstones like sapphires, emerald, and rubies, which are normally set in platinum and gold. All in all, Art Deco jewelers were known to put a lot of work into their pieces and paid close attention to every single detail. The interesting thing about the Art Deco period was that a lot of the jewelry was handmade and not machine made. When it comes to the Art Deco period, they're known for using old mine cut diamonds in most of their engagement rings. It has a rectangular or cushion shaped cut with rounded corners and small tables. Rings in the Art Deco period are also known for the filigree work on the side of the rings. Filigree is a type of jewelry making where the metal is bent and spun into specific patterns to create a very intricate design. If the glamour of the Art Deco period is something that intrigues you, then we also recommend looking into the Edwardian era. Now, if you prefer the sleek lines of the Art Deco period, then we prefer looking into the retro era. Now, let's get into the details. First thing we suggest is looking into what style you like in the Art Deco era. The most common styles during the height of the Art Deco period was solitaire and three stones. No matter what style you pick, every single Art Deco ring during that period is very unique and has a lot of detail to it. The most important thing you want to start with knowing is your budget, the shape, and the carat weight that you prefer. We also recommend starting a Pinterest board as this can help you put out your ideas in one spot so when you're ready to purchase, you have a huge board of ideas that you can go through. We also have a Pinterest at Jack Weir and Son. After that, it's important to find a trusted dealer. Here at Jack Weir and Sons, we've spent so much time looking and studying many different Art Deco pieces that we have a huge collection of all different styles. We also pride ourselves in our vast collection of different rings, and if you see anything that catches your eye, feel free to reach out to us here through our email, which I'll put on the screen, or also through our Instagram. Now I'm going to show you some of the pieces that we have in our collection from the Art Deco period. First, I have a 2.27 carat Art Deco Old European Cut Diamond Platinum Bezel Set Ring. And then I also have a green tourmaline Art Deco diamond, 18 karat white gold cluster ring. And next I have a 1.84 karat Art Deco Old European Cut Diamond Platinum 14 karat white gold ring. And then I have an Art Deco Old European Cut Diamond Emerald Platinum ring. And lastly, I have a synthetic Art Deco Sapphire Diamond Platinum ring. And that's all I have here today at Jack Weir & Sons on how to choose the perfect Art Deco engagement ring. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below or reach out to us on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials, which will be in the description down below. All the rings that I showed here today will also be linked down below and then also the blog that goes along with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.